this is my picture of the immune system fighting a rhodiola, the rhodiola virus. The two cells with lines, with lines in them, and blue that are filled with blue or plasma set. Can you point to those? Okay. Plasma cells are activated B cells. And this is how it happens. This is how B cells are activated. A T cell with an antigen in its receptor binds with a B cell receptor or BCR, which is really a stabilized antibody on the, on the B cell surface, and then they secrete, and then the T cells secrete lymphokines, which make the B cells proliferate and differentiate into plasma cells. Can I see the back of your paper? Okay. What I'm pointing to is a macrophage. And the lines you see that are coming out from it are armed or persipod. That's okay. Persipods? Just hold it up to yourself so I so you can look at at it down and we can see it. Hold it up to your chest, Cole, right on yourself. There you go. In, and one of them has a virus, which is what I am pointing to. And the, the cell, the, this cell I am pointing to is called a dendritic cell. <coughs> they, they fetch cytosine antigen and present peptide fragments on the surfaces and go attract and go activate B cells. To yourself. And the, and the dark spots outside of the cells I'm pointing to uh -huh. are interleukins. They cause the, you to get a fever. How do they do that? Your brain is like a thermostat. And and when a fever happens, the interleukins turn up that thermostat in your brain. Okay. And you, and, you're, and you get hot, which is, and that, and you might be taking Tylenol to stop it, but it's actually, but a fever's actually good. It means that it, it stops the virus from replicating and just, okay, go ahead. It's good for you, so it's good. And the smaller cells I am pointing to are T cells. And the ones right here are replicated. And the one, now the one I'm pointing to is a neutrophil. And the and the circle you see inside it is a phagosome. What's that? And, and the lines inside it are granules. What are phagosomes and granules? Granules are chemicals that fuse with the virus and destroy it. And phagosomes are little bubble are are when, they are formed when a phagocyte does like this is when it this is how it's formed. So a phagocyte meets a virus, it surrounds it with its pursuit pods, 
engulfs it. And the pseudopods go into and become a phagosol. This is the part. This is digested by the the granules. And these three cells are, are macrophages. This one is 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 uptaking an antigen. <coughs> <coughs> and these two are macrophages that have been attracted by the interleukins and are squeezing through the blood vessel wall. This right here is a permanentic of IgM. And, per, and the per, per means perna, pernima means five. And you can see five Bodies sticking out of a circle. And here's some antibodies and virus. And another and some more T cells replicating. And this is the blood vessel wall. and a T cell, and the cytokine is in a cytokine receptor. And here's another one with a cytokine, T cell with a cytokine and a cytokine receptor. What's the big gray one? This one? Yeah. A dendritic cell. Oh, okay. And what are the big blue thing? What's the big blue thing right next to the dendritic cell? I know, I'm, I, I forgot. Plasma cells. Plasma cells, okay. Okay, is that it? Yep. And how old are you? Six years. My name is Cole and I'm six years old. Thank you.